The oratory of Santa Maria Maddalena stands in the hamlet of Ospedaletto. Since its construction, it's been linked to the medieval hospice that provided accommodation for pilgrims. Dating from the 11th and 12th centuries, the aisleless oratory has a semicircular apse. Its bell tower has become a well-known symbol of Lake Como and has a very unusual belfry that dates from the 14th to the 15th century. The church of Santi Eufemia and Vincenzo on Isola Comacina is the current parish church. It was built after the basilica of the same name on the island was destroyed. The original 12th century construction has undergone many alterations and renovations. The external facade, featuring ashlars made with stone from Moltrasio, has hardly been touched, but inside little remains of the original decoration, which was replaced by high-quality structures in the Baroque style. The tombstone of Agrippinus, the first bishop of Como, who was appointed by the Patriarchate of Aquila in the 7th century, can be seen on the left-hand side of the presbytery, where it was transported from the island. The small church, formerly named after San Sicinio, is now dedicated to Sant'Agata, stands in Osuccio. The restoration project, carried out in 1993 to 1995, made it possible to reconstruct the different historical phases of the building, from the original cemetery chapel to the early medieval church, 8th to 10th century, and the Romanesque construction, presumably 12th century, that underwent heavy alteration from the end of the 17th century. Features of the interior of the church are a superb stoop, traces of frescoes, and a Roman votive altar that dates from the 2nd or 3rd century AD, which has the privilege of having handed down the place name of the ancient Roman administrative unit and its inhabitants, the Ausuciatis. The Oratory of San Giacomo is a small church in the hamlet of Spurano, constructed between the 10th and 12th centuries. It has almost entirely maintained its original appearance, but the bell gable was constructed at a later date, no earlier than the 14th century. The most outstanding feature of this church is that large expanses of frescoes have been conserved, including, very visible on the right side, the gigantic figure of St. Christopher from the 11th century.